Today on North Carolina Law TV, David Daggett, injury and disability lawyer from Daggett Schuler Law out of Winston-Salem, talks to us about wrongful death cases. While the grieving process is going on, there's also the what I call the business aspects that also need to be taken mm -hmm. care of. And if the parent and their support are now gone, right. well then you need to be compensated for that loss to make sure it's taken mm -hmm. care of. They don't have experience handling the negligence claim if the death is due to somebody else's fault. Right. So they're in a world of complete unknowns. They need to reach outside, get some help, so that things are taken mm -hmm. care of properly for the best interest of the family, the children, the relatives mm -hmm. uh, in the aftermath. Absolutely. That's all next on this episode of North Carolina Law TV. The unexpected death of a loved one can be one of the most life-altering and painful experiences of a person's life. According to the Holmes Rahi Life Stress Inventory, death of a spouse and death of a close relative are two of the top five most stressful life events for the average person. And when the death was wrongful, when it was caused by someone else's negligence, it can be especially traumatic for those who are left behind. People who are affected by the wrongful death of a loved one often experience dramatic consequences beyond the immediate costs related to the death, including loss of income, loss of parental guidance, and loss of companionship. David Daggett is here today to talk to us about wrongful death cases and what steps survivors can take to recover during these difficult times. Welcome, David. Good to have you here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Um, during the grief process, a lawsuit is not something people typically think about. Is there a time sensitivity to these types of claims? Well, and, and that's a little bit of a problem because mm -hmm. after you lose a loved one, obviously it's right and it's natural and you should spend time with friends mm -hmm. and family mm -hmm. grieving and recovering together. Yeah. However, uh, if it's somebody else's fault, there could be some time-sensitive information out there, investigation okay. into the mm -hmm. circumstances, mm -hmm. those sort of things that doesn't stay around forever. So while the grieving process is going on, there's also the what I call the business aspects that also need to be taken mm -hmm. care of. That, does that make sense? Investigation of the accident scene, right. uh, the, the circumstances, you know, it could be uh, from a work injury, it mm -hmm. could be from an automobile accident, it could be from a dog bite. We did a right. show earlier on dog bites. Right. It could be a number of different mm -hmm. circumstances mm -hmm. where the death was caused by somebody else's negligence or fault. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that may require some immediate investigation right. Right. in order to best look after your, your best interests. Mm -hmm. So part of the grieving process, the, during that time, when you're making all sorts of other plans, this may be something that you can actually give to someone and say, listen, take this off my plate and tell me what I need to deal with right now so I can get back to being with my family members. Exactly. Right? In, in fact, mm -hmm. that's a good recommendation, mm -hmm. is you can get it off your plate right. by having somebody else mm -hmm. deal with it. Now, you know, usually the last thing you're thinking about is lawyers and sure. that sort of thing. Sure. But it can be very valuable to get experienced help involved early, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about that stuff now. Right. Uh, right. Somebody else can worry about it and you can take care of yourself mm -hmm. and your family. And, to, and that's where your focus can be. That's where and your focus And knowing that someone else is taking care yes. of that yeah. would be really helpful early on, yes. is what you're saying. Yes. That's, a yes. good, that's a good suggestion. Um, wh who is allowed to file a, um, a lawsuit for wrongful death? Well, the claim is brought by the administrator or administratrix of the, of the estate. estate. Okay. okay, that's mm -hmm. whose right it is to bring the claim, which is usually the next of kin, right. whoever that is. Right. Now, sometimes mm -hmm. that can get a little bit complicated, but it's, it's a right. next of kin. Okay. And then uh, what they're doing is they're bringing a claim for the damages for the loss of this person. Their, their income stream that supports the family, right. okay. uh, the medical expenses they may have incurred, mm -hmm. uh, burial and funeral expenses that they've incurred, those sort of things. So these are things that executor is dealing with anyway. Yes. Right? Yes. But there may be some um, financial assistance because of the wrongful the it, death. Because of somebody else's fault. Right, right. Okay. So, so, so right. for example, 
uh, you, you have a parent mm -hmm. and their income you know, supports and raises your children. Sure. Raises them, puts them through school, that sort of thing. That if income. the parent and their support are now gone, right. well then you need to be compensated for that loss to make sure it's taken mm -hmm. care of. And, and when, it's, a, mm -hmm. it's a prudent thing to mm -hmm. do to look after the best interests of your family. Sure. Sure. And as you're taking care of the emotional health of your family, yes. having someone on board to help make sure that the future is yeah. taken care of. What, what I many times tell people uh -huh. is that there's two parts of a death case. Okay. Obviously, there's a, an emotional part. Sure. And uh, you, you've got to deal with that you know, through your pastor, your friends, your family, sure. what, what, what yeah. have you. Mm -hmm. But there's also the business aspect. Uh, that mm -hmm. is our job is right. to take care of the business. Mm -hmm. Now, while we're taking care of the business, we never forget that it's right. it's more emotional for you, but the business is very important to be mm -hmm. taken care of. Mm -hmm. And that needs to be handled by somebody that knows what they're doing. And as an executor of a, an estate, it would it'd be really feel helpful to have someone that you trust taking care of that for you so that you can focus on the other things that you're responsible for. Well, and of course, the, the executor or administrator of right. an estate mm -hmm. Typically, they don't have experience doing that. <laughs> Absolutely, right, right. And, and on top of right. not having experience doing that, they don't have experience handling the negligence claim if the death is due to somebody else's fault. Right. So they're in a world of complete unknowns. Right. They need mm -hmm. to reach outside, get some help, so that things are taken mm -hmm. care of properly for the best interests of the family, the children, the relatives mm -hmm. uh, in the aftermath. Absolutely, in a very highly stressful time. What a what a benefit that can be. That can be. Well, that's all we have time for today. Any last thoughts, David? That you, something you think people yeah, well, should Well, know? sure. I think mm -hmm. people just need to have an awareness of their rights yeah. so mm -hmm. that if something does happen, you know where to go and who to turn to mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get some help. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Thanks so much for being here yeah. with us today. This is helpful information. Thanks Appreciate for being here today. Appreciate it. If you or someone you know has lost a loved one due to ne negligence of someone else, you can call David's office at 336 724-1234 to discuss your case. Until next time, this is Nancy Hollett for North Carolina Law TV.